Hey everybody, Matthew Moore, Zap at Wood Studios. Today is Monday, August 13th. We're here in the green and green room and take a look at it. The picture frame is done. It's got this beautiful metallic print of the Eiffel Tower picture I took in it. Let's get into it. It's time for another shop update. So I missed a week because last week I had family out and honestly, besides them being out, there really wasn't much to tell because I was waiting for this guy to come in and I'm still waiting for the glass for the mirror to come in as well. That did, however, ship today, which I'm really excited about. So let me walk you through what I had to do to finish this to get it up here and hug. So first off, once the picture came in, um, I had sized it just a little bit shorter in height and width than the groove in the frame, just to give myself a little bit of room. So what I did was I went over to the jointer and I milled up some excess material from the job. And I milled all that a half an inch thick. And then over at the table saw, I ripped all of it to a half an inch thick as well, giving me a half inch square piece. Now, with this being a little bit short, as far as width and height is concerned, what I ended up doing was then cutting or removing material from the half inch square piece to create an L shape. The purpose of that was to be able to get something that was the right thickness to hold the frame in. And then over at the drill press, I drilled some pilot holes for those nails. Now, the pilot holes I drilled are pretty much the diameter of the nail itself. And with the picture frame held in place, then I could take some nails and hammer in those L shapes. And that is what's holding in the picture frame. Put that in, came up here and hung the picture. I think it's looking really great. I'm loving this. I'm also loving the metallic ink for this shot as well. Really, um, there's a lot of shine that comes off of it. It really brings the piece alive. So I ordered my frame from White Wall. And again, I'm not sponsored, unfortunately, but if you guys want to sponsor me, White Wall, let me know, um, at least for this build. And yeah, so that what's cool about that is you can order a custom width and height, and that's exactly what I did here to match the final dimensions of the area inside the frame to, to put the picture, and of course I wanted the extra space as I was talking about. So that's done. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, sometime this week I'll have the glass in, so next week when I do the update, I can show you guys the mirror up on the other wall over here. Now, I did other things the past couple weeks too, and that is to start editing these projects. I've edited chapters two through six. Um, I think there's 11 in total for this project. Chapter one is always introduction, and I don't have anything for that yet, because I need the other guy done as well. But those, Chapters are done. They're up on uh, my video hosting service and over the course of this week I'll get them up in the school as well. And I started work on breaking out the final dimensions of all this stuff inside of SketchUp into plans that I'd be able to add to the class as well. So that's what I've been up to the past two weeks uh, and I'm really jazzed to get this project done. I was really wanting to get this frame up. So what I want to do right now is actually just show you some uh, footage of the room and let you see what this green and green room looks like with all this green and green furniture I've built, which as you can see, I've got multiple pieces in here, the coffee table, the armchair and the rocking chair and the small little side table from the gamble house. And those are all projects in the school, this guy, and then the mirror frame will be one more. So that's pretty cool. I'm really loving it. So what you guys do these past two weeks? Let me know in the comments below. As you know, I always love hearing that from you guys. As always, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button, share your timeline, and head over to the MM Wood Studio page and like us there as well. And as always, always, have a great week in your shop.